Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 4 as I snatch up my sex. Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. Of course it did. Like he'd pay for that himself. But yes, welcome back as I snatch up my beautiful new car. Figured, and dear god, I've already forgotten all the controls. <laughs> That's what happens when you play multiple games at the same time. So yeah, I figured that would probably just be our thank you present from good old Bernie. So that's why I headed over there to snatch it up. Though I should probably take it back to a safe house area. Just so I can save it in case I feel like abusing it later. Because, for the most part, if you didn't notice, I take taxi cabs everywhere. Really? What else are you gonna spend your money on in this game? Taxi cabs are a beautiful thing. Oh, I broke my beautiful window of my beautiful car. It is only one week until Grand Theft Auto V comes out. I can hardly believe it. Oh, oh my god. I think this game came out and I don't even know when this game came out I want to say it came out in like 2006 or something you like some credits somewhere no no credits okay whatever I'm just gonna go ahead and say this game came out in 2006 I'm probably completely wrong but either way, it has been a long ass time since Grand Theft Auto game came out. And now Grand Theft Auto 5 is practically here. It is very exciting shit, man. Looks to harken back to the classic days of San Andreas and whatnot with all kinds of super sexy shenanigans to get into. And before we continue on with the mob missions, we will be visiting good old Jerry McReary in prison, apparently. Unless it's some sort of setup. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 look like prison. I don't think I would get anywhere near a prison if I had done even oh my god it's Carmen I forgot all about you Nico, it's Carmen. This job is killing me I hate being a nurse and I hate all these sick people me too I baby. You, baby I thought if you ever need some nursing you could just call me up and I'll help you out on the phone you'll feel much better shit you can do that it might be real useful Carmen I'll talk to you soon oh really for dating Carmen she can like heal me over the phone won't be doing that. If I ever see you again, it's gonna be to bust a cap in that ass. I'll take her. And her, and her, and her, and her, and her. You okay, kid? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here. Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? Well, a lot of things. Racketeer and armed robbery. Bunch of shit I never did, because I was always a well-behaved family <laughs> man who gave you like to drink, but nothing more. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Like us all. Yep. Like us all. Like us all. The thing is, I think I should make some changes in Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. So basically loose ends that you want me to tie up? People you would like me to murder? 
Am I getting everything right on the nose there? Your brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, diet of hair, sweet loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling a tasteful pink felter on uh, Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hang up on you. <laughs> Apparently I knew exactly what you were going to tell me though, since it told me where to go and I'm going to assume what to do when I get there. Sorry, Packy. Didn't mean to cut you off. Apparently it's all good though. Oh my god, I have eight emails. Someone wants to meet you. Your high school reunion wants someone wants to meet you from high school and make the sex time. Hornyhighschoolreunions.com. Hell yeah. Sleep with the girl you couldn't get at 17. Anybody famous on there? Mm, nothing rings a bell. Let's check out Mandy Allhand. No pictures. Screw that shit. Your password was successfully changed. Valuable penis drugs. Penis, penis, penis goes in the vagina when it gets big. But yours doesn't. Molly's, Molly's, Molly. Okay. Penis, penis, penis. Great news. Mallory agreed to marry me. I am so happy. I am going to be a family man. I am so excited. We have had our ups and downs, but she's been a good friend. And once I stopped cheating on her and we became exclusive, it's been great. I cannot wait to marry her. One problem, no more threesomes. Aww. Cousin, I am so happy for you. I imagine Bruzy will be pissed off missing out on all those threesomes. <laughs> oh, it's ULC. It's an old friend of yours. I just wanted to thank you for your help. My company has been very pleased with your work. Now try to stay out of trouble. A word to the wise. The people you are consorting with in Alderney are fools and they are not to be trusted. I know other people who will help you. You get negative response. At least the people in Alderney are real. Who the fuck are you? Where is the person I'm looking for? Now that must be mother I'm assuming. I don't know what order I get the... Yeah, those are the oldest ones. So obviously the ones near the bottom would be the oldest ones first. Liberated woman. So, you found the pit of gold at the end of the rainbow, sifted through all the useless shit and freaks on crap list to find me. Well, as long as I'm not murdered and thrown in the Humboldt, I may as well go on one date with you. The blogosphere can't get enough of hearing date horror stories. You could be the latest crap list monster to make them and me scream. Sounds good. I don't think I ever dated her before. Hey there, that sounds good. I'll be there. Your com our computers have detected that law chick would be the perfect love meet match for you. Both share an interest in computers and an air of desperation. Alternatively, if you would consider a change in sexual preferences, Colonel Cuddles could be your perfect love meet match. Whatever, I tried to date Colonel Cuddles before and he rejected me. God damn it, Colonel Cuddles. You date me, you son of a bitch. And they said law chick. I don't believe you guys, because I tried to date the shit out of everybody before and they rejected me. Especially Colonel Cuddles. And I believe this is Mother. Yes, my dear son. I was thinking about you and I thought I write. I received a nice email from your cousin. He say you had seen Florian Kravitch again. Did he become a professional wrestler, as he say? He was always strange boy. Roman also tells me he has woman nice in his life that maybe there was something special for you too. Life here is much same. Crops grow, the country flounders, British people come to buy holiday homes they never visit. The politicians argue and we all want things will change. I have long memory. Life always confusing, uncertain. Only problems change. We have never known freedom and nor democracy. Sometimes I think this makes realist life easier for us. In America, I imagine the people must be bitter. The world used to love 
love the now they are despised i guess that's supposed to be love them the president lawton seems like a foolish man have you met him roman says said that you and him were up for a prestigious award and you had some powerful friends dear mother thanks for your email life in america is okay thank you for your concern i wish roman would join me from his time spent living in clouds he makes things up i don't know why he has a nice woman in his life that is true the rest is lies apart apart from florian kravich we have seen him he is very different wedding bells my dear son i hear roman is getting married i am so excited i also heard you had a nice girl and you could not seem to commit to her i wish i could make it to the wedding have a good time my son i am so proud of you both your loving mother yeah i'm supposed to get cars for my mission a uh, pink felzer can i can i can i can I call up some of these other people and get their cars? I would much rather drive their cars than a pink speltzer. Okay. Oh, they don't. Oh, that one has a number. That one has a number. Sweet. 6620147. Six, Two, o, one, four, seven. I'm uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist the bargain. Hey, man, I'm plenty fruity. I just tried to set up a date with Colonel Cuddles. God damn it. That doesn't make me the kind of man who would drive a pink car. I don't know what does. Smashy! Thank you. You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. Oh, that is me. You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. Whore! My family's from Italia, you know. Somewhere in the south. The Why don't you drive south. towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. Oh yeah, sounds pretty good. It's like an impromptu date. Hopefully I can fuck up your car and you won't bitch at me about it. Whee! So, you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? Sure do. I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't need guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Uh, not really. Oh, you really know how to work a clutch. <laughs> I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every ten seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. About to go for the radio life? Oh. You mean I just wasted my time driving all this way? That's driving my ass for your daddy. Oh, you stupid bitch. <laughs> wow. Bitch has a death wish. Get off the curb, god damn it. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm going two miles an hour. Holy shit. Chill out before I 
I pull this trigger and make oh. you feel fucking chill. You are in so much trouble, Nipthick. My daddy loves his little girl. I don't know why you wouldn't just jump out of the car. It's not like I wasn't completely stopped. You're fucking annoying. Oh dear god, this bitch is gonna kill us both. I'm going back to my daddy. Only when he pays the fucking ransom. Finally! Dear God, man, why didn't you shut that bitch up five minutes ago? Ow. Okay. can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and I don't think it would be appropriate. I can multitask. Better not give me a thumbs down for that shit. Okay, these little Jacob understands. Nobody else ever seems to. Like, oh, you're busy? Well, I don't like you anymore. All my other friends are dicks. Cannot believe I didn't fuck that car up. That was amazing. There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys... The beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, he better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Probably bite your dick off before you can do that. Oh, really? Mission over? Can I get a taxi, please? Oof. Has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. Yeah, you are so not welcome because I almost died for a simple kidnapping, man. That was not cool. You had to not warn me about what a psychotic bihach she was. Alrighty, back to the good old mobby missions, I believe. Hopefully this guy wants to pay me to kill, pay me to kill Phil Bell. Because I would really appreciate that. In fact, you wouldn't even have to pay me in order to kill him. I would be more than willing to do that shit for free. Entourage. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Uh, you. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're- Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me laugh. <laughs> My pleasure. People are so damn vain. Hope you aren't contagious. <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. To your mouth, old man. Ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. He worked hard for his money. They take it marching and take control of rackets by family has run for 50 so years. Hard for his money. You mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry? Might finally come to an end. Damn shame. <laughs> I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> you should really stop laughing because you practically die every time you laugh. But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. Yep. So it might.
might as well be me. Always yeah. another asshole. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed. No. By them damn Russians. No. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? Money. The police have a file on you an inch thick. Only an inch? In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. <sighs> okay. Good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Want me to kill your friend for you? A nice cry. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe like the, guy the you Russians. Know, Dmitry Raskolov has an interest in keeping the story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. I guarantee nothing. Nothing at all.